Hey what's up and welcome to a new video tutorial by Crocfix. Let's see how to prepare a uh, bootable flash drive to install a fresh copy of Mac US Ventura. So if you want to install it on another Mac or on this Mac and you don't want to install it uh, from the internet, like to every time to download it, you can prepare a flash drive. That's pretty convenient. So to do this you will need a USB flash drive with at least uh, 16 gigabytes of free space and uh, note that all your data, data on uh, the flash drive will be lost so um, take an empty one or just format this one. Uh, I will show you how to format it in the next step. So as I said you will need a flash drive if you have a newer MacBook then you will probably have only a USB-C connector by a side so you will need then for this you will need an adapter an USB-C adapter to normal USB so if you have a USB flash drive with USB-C then don't worry about the adapter I'm putting now the flash drive in the adapter and I'm putting this all together here now connecting to the MacBook Air silicone so now what we will need now is we will need a fresh copy of macOS Ventura. So for doing this, first we will go to the App Store here, and then in the left corner here in the search bar, you will type in macOS space Ventura. You click on Enter then you will get several options here and you choose macOS Ventura in the utilities here you click on view and then you will click on get when you click on get it will take you to the software update it will check for the newest version of the macOS Ventura and it will ask you if you want to download it then you just click on download and the download will start. So depends on your internet speed, it will take you from, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes to two hours or maybe more. Just wait uh, so the download will be completed. Then we can go and proceed with the next step. Okay, so we have downloaded the software and now we are going to proceed with the next step. And this is, you don't want to continue because you don't want to install the macOS now. So we go to click on this window and then on install macOS Ventura and then on quit install macOS. And then again quit. So we don't want to install. And then we want to go to search for the disk utility just in case because we want to prepare mm, just a second. we want to prepare uh, our key so um, we have uh, we don't know actually if our uh, USB flash drive is formatted in FAT32 so we just want to make sure we don't get any errors later when we um, copy all the files for the Ventura so we want to go to disk utility, open the software here, and then we go here on the left side, you see SanDisk Ultra Media. This is my flash drive. Uh, it can happen then uh, the, if you have, for example, a flash drive uh, which is NTFS formatted or uh, SPFS or uh, any other file system, then you need to go to disk utility click on your flash drive here and then you go to first erase if you have the option and here in the format you go and click on MS-DOS FAT name I will write USB flash and click on erase Okay, the process uh, is done and our USB is erased. Um, for
for example, if you want to do a partition, you can go click on the partition as well, as you see here, and then you have where you can write here the name and also the format which you can choose to format it in the file uh, for the file system. So in our uh, case we want FAT32 and that's it. But it's already done so we don't need to apply. Okay? So after that we need to go to find the downloaded package for the macOS Ventura. For this we are going here to go click on applications and then you will see here the install macOS Ventura here. So now as you see here we have downloaded our package and then now you click with the right mouse key if you don't have enabled it you can also click the control button on your uh, keyboard and then click on the left key and then you click on show package contents. There you go. You go to map contents and then you go to resources. There you go. So we will need this file here. Create install media. This one. But for now we just put this here by side. Like this. And we will go here to search for the application terminal because we will need to put in some data. Okay, so this is our terminal application now. So you, you want to write here sudo sudo and then hit space and then you will go to this resources map and you will drag and drop this file here to the terminal. So just click on it and drop it here in terminal. As you see there is a text written here, a command, so that's fine. Then you go here on the terminal and you will click space, uh, sorry, you can go backspace. It only needs to be one space. And then you will, we will uh, insert another um, command here, which is uh, the path to the uh, USB flash drive. So for doing this, just a second. Okay, so now we type in two times dash dash, dash dash, that's like minus minus. And then we type in volume and then you hit the space button on the keyboard and then what we need to do is we go to finder or finder is open here and then we need to click on our USB flash drive here as you see this is our USB flash which we prepared before and you right click on it and then you click on show in a closing folder. So this is the path to our USB flash and again we will drag and drop it to uh, our terminal here. So just click on it, hold and then drop it here in the terminal. So that's it, that's another command. And now you click on terminal and hit enter. So it asks us uh, now for the administrator password, for your password to log in in your uh, Mac. So in our case it's 134. Okay, and uh, now it asks you that the volume, the flash drive, will be erased and uh, all data for the Ventura will be copied to the flash drive. So make sure uh, you don't need any data on it because the flash drive will be erased totally now. So, so to confirm this, we will need to type in the Y letter and confirm with the enter button. Okay, as you see the disk is now erasing and our Mac is making the USB flash drive bootable. So you need to wait now till it's done.
After that you will see copy into disk and see the percentage going up. So just need to wait to finish this process. So now you will see that you receive the message here install media no available at volume install blah 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 so it means that your flash drive is now ready to use. So for example you can uh, close now the terminal here and we will also close the finder window we open a new finder window and now you will see that your flash drive name uh, has change it to install Mac US Ventura. So it means that you have now a completely ready flash drive. And if we scroll down, you will see install Mac OS Ventura. And if, if we double click, the installation actually should begin. I mean, it should ask you if you want to install it. We just wait a little bit. So as you see it is asking you if you want to install no Mac OS Ventura. So our installation media is done it, and it's ready. So it means you don't have to download it again and again. If you have 10 MacBooks you can just uh, put in your flash drive and install on every MacBook the Mac OS Ventura. So we actually don't want to install it here. I click here on quit installation OS and quit again. And that's it. So, so our key is ready. We can now eject it by clicking on file and eject. So, Mm -hmm. We just force eject and force. That's it. So this key is now bootable and you can use it on whichever Mac you want to install Mac OS Ventura without to download it again and again. We can test this now by... So now our USB key or flash drive is ready and we can click on it and then on the file and eject it. So it's ready to use. You can put it in, in a new Mac or uh, any other MacBook and install Mac OS Ventura. Uh, you know, you have to meet the minimum system requirements. So let's test this. We will go and shut down our Mac here. Shut it down. And then we will Put in our flash drive and now uh, if you use a MacBook or an iMac uh, with a silicon chip with an uh, M1, M2 or whichever new uh, CPU then you need to press the power button and hold it until you see options here. So let's press the power button and hold it. Continue holding for startup startup options okay loading startup options and we can release the key there we go we have the option here to install Mac OS Ventura so you can install it right away without downloading it so our Mac is shut it down and now we will press on um, the silicon CPU processors, you will need to press the so now that uh, our MacBook is uh, off, we can switch it on uh, and for silicon uh, MacBooks and iMacs which have the new M1 or M2 processor, you will need to click on the power button and hold it until you see the screen here. So we press the power button, we hold the button 
uh, it says continue holding for startup options. So we just continue holding and now when you see loading startup options you can release the button and see what happens. Okay, we have here the option install macOS Ventura, which means our USB flash drive is working perfectly. Um, okay, so that's it. Uh, so if you had uh, any issues or if you have questions, let me know in the comments. Also, if it did work for you, uh, write a short comment and uh, I will really appreciate it. Uh, thank you. What I forgot to tell you is, uh, if you have a non uh, inter, uh, if you have a okay, what I forgot to tell you, if you don't have a MacBook with a silicon chip uh, and you have an Intel CPU, not an M1, then while, uh, when you power uh, on your MacBook, you hit the Option button and hold it, just the Option key on your keyboard and you immediately release the power button. Uh, that's it. It's just a different procedure to go into the boot menu of the, uh, to choose the flash drive. So for Intel CPUs, just click on option button and hold it after you turn it on. You don't need to hold the power button for 10 seconds like for silicon CPUs. Thanks for watching. If the video did somehow help you, then you can buy me a coffee. Donations are always appreciated. Thank you. You find the donation link in my about page and in the video description. Please also like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.